Okay, number one. The first thing we need to do is put our equation in standard form. And remember, standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And right now, this negative 10 is on the wrong side of the equal sign. So we need to move it over. And remember, when it goes across the equal sign, you have to change the sign. So we're going to have x squared plus 4x plus 10 equals 0. And so now we're ready to complete the square. So to complete the square, remember that we're going to scoot this 10 over and we're going to create a spot in front of this term and behind this term. So we're going to have x squared plus 4x and then we're going to put a blank and then the plus 10 and then a blank. And we've got to figure out what's going to go in the blank. And remember, to figure this out, we take half, half of b, b is 4, so half of 4 gives us 2, and then we square that. 2 squared gives us 4. And so in the first blank, we put positive 4, and the second blank, we put negative 4. And then we're just going to factor now. So we're going to take this part right here, and we're going to factor that into two sets of parentheses. And we're looking for factors of 4 that will add to give me 4. Remember, that's 1 and 4, and 2 and 2. And so the, fact, the ones that are going to add to give me 4 are 2 and 2. So x plus 2 and x plus 2. And then we're just going to do this um, calculation. 10 minus 4 is positive 6. And since these parentheses are the same, and they will be the same, so if they don't turn out to be the same, you've done something wrong, we're going to combine them together. x plus 2 squared plus 6 equals 0. So this is vertex form. That's your answer for vertex form right here. Now, the, remember, the vertex is um, hk. So what I would recommend that you do is figure out what a equals, h equals and k equals. It doesn't ask for this, but on all of our quizzes and our homework, this is what we did. So remember, a is in front of the parentheses, so that's 1. h, h is the opposite. So it's the opposite of what's in the parentheses, which is negative 2, and k is 6. So the vertex is negative 2, 6, so we're going to put that here. Axis of symmetry Remember the axis of symmetry is always x equals h. So since h is negative 2, this is going to be x equals negative 2. And the easiest problem on the whole test is the domain is all real numbers. And you can use the symbol or you can write it out, all real numbers. To find the range, Remember, it's your y values. And we're going to look back at A. Since A is positive, that tells me that my graph is going to open up like this. So my vertex is down here, which means it has a minimum. And my arrows are pointing up, so that's greater than or equal to whatever k is, and k is 6. Okay, now we're ready to solve. So to solve this, we're going to take what we got for our vertex form. I'm going to rewrite that right here. x plus 2 squared plus 6 equals 0. Some of you, when we did this before, you changed the sign. Leave it exactly like it is to solve this. So remember, the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of k. So we move it to the other side. And when you do, you change the sign. So x plus 2 squared equals negative 6. The next thing we want to do is get rid of the square, so we take the square root. So we're going to take the square root of this side, and we have to take the square root of this side. What we notice is that we can't take the square root of a negative number yet. We don't know how to do that. And so because of that, for that reason, we're going to have no solutions. So anytime you have the square root of a negative number, we're not going to be able to find any solutions for this problem.